man name, Leonard John. I'm from Ahazit, Kelsmont, and Heshquit. Um, last September, I believe it was, when a handful of warriors from Ahazit stepped foot on a farm that they were going to put in our territory, one of many. And not only did I put my, my own life on the line, I put a, one of my good friend's life on the line. We almost had a, one of the weights dropped on our boat from the barge as they were dropping the weights for the float. And that was the uh, best thing that I ever did in my life was to step foot on that farm because it only took 13 days for, for us to shut that farm down. And that was uh, first ever. First ever and uh, we had uh, Alexandra Morton I took her over on my boat there and she asked if she could step on on the float there and to me it was no big deal just go right ahead and she took her time getting off my boat to the, onto the dock and she looked back at me she goes you know Lenny this is my first time I ever stepped foot on a farm I've waited over 20 years to do this and she had tears coming down her face I was like okay right on I didn't know it was that important because that was my first time to ever step on on a fish farm to even fight for the environment, to fight for our territory, our waters, our land. And I want to give a big shout out to the Yaxwis Warriors. There's a couple here. Let's give them a big hand. Yaxwis Warriors. I have a couple friends that are here. They supported me, supported the warriors. And a lot of the housed people aren't allowed to, are not allowed to protest with all the politics. Uh, they're not allowed to protest the uh, schools, the uh, band office, and the other working areas in the housed there because they'll lose their job if they come support me. So at nighttime, we used to go into the reserve and they'd come out and come out and bring food, bring coffee, anything they could, and just let us know that they were supporting us. Yeah. And you gotta, you gotta speak up, speak, Speak your mind. Doesn't matter who it is or who it's for. Speak for the wild salmon. Speak for the clams. Everything that we eat. Everything that's out there. Don't let the chiefs or anybody else keep you quiet. Voice your opinion. Speak your mind. And if a small hand, a, a small group of warriors can do what we did in 13 days. Imagine if we all come together. Can you imagine that, what we could do? You don't need to, you don't need to fight. You don't need to bring guns. You don't need to bring weapons or anything. All we did was tie up to that dock on our own territory. The RCMP, the Marine SWAT couldn't do nothing. All I could do was come make sure we weren't doing anything wrong. And I told them that it was them that were that was doing wrong. So right now I uh, I'll be heading back after this, right back to house it there. Because there's a big die off and enough of them keeping secrets, I'm gonna go back home and stir up some shit. If no one 
where I'm from stands up for it, they're just going to walk all over us. And I already had, had that um, talk with the Mitsubishi Cermak, talking about how they have the our chiefs wrapped around their fingers just because they signed a piece of paper. That doesn't mean anything to our people, especially a warrior. We put those chiefs in there. We can take them out. And I let them know that. They'll be stripped of their chieftainship. No songs, no dances. You signed that paper for Japan, you moved to Japan. So from Yaksuis Warriors, keep us strong. This is for the wild salmon. Let's keep it up. Thank you.